I'm going to say, uh, yeah. Look at what does this say? I'm gonna say all praise. Actually, let me just do a little shout out. I'm gonna say all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all you Aki, my dear, putting in work. Yeah, what the hell is it? The fire, de fire department right there. Look like I got this sign right here. Uh, you probably can't even see it. I had it on camera already. It said the Lord only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that's who we are here to teach. And this, we on the west, we on the bottoms. It's, it's the west side of Columbus, but it's called the bottoms because they on the bottom. <laughs> well, it's actually, there's a hilltop. You keep going west, it goes up a hill and this is considered the bottoms. But this is real grimy out here. These fools, they out here, they don't know they're Israelites. These assholes. Just let their house burn down, bro. There always be houses on fire on the bottoms, too. Y'all ever see some houses burning? Blowing up meth labs. Matthew's not here. Matthew's not here? Yeah, he is. Where he at, dude? Where you at? Right. Actually, Matthew is here because reincarnation is in the Bible. They said Matthew's not here now. Matthew is here. He ain't been updated on reincarnation. Reincarnation is in the Bible. All the apostles are back out here teaching. That's just a demon, demonic thing to say. Out of it, all the words you can choose to use and say, they gonna say the evil shit. Even if he wasn't here, he still like like Paul said, even in my absence, he's still going to do the work. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that book of Matthew's here, ain't it? Hey, the Bible, <laughs> the Bible's the number one selling book in the world. You gonna tell me Matthew ain't here? Shit. There's all kind of Matthews in the world. Oh, that's a timely scripture right there. Hey, read that again. That's a good one, man. It says, Sarah 39 and 10, nation shall show forth his wisdom, and, his, and the congregation shall declare his praise. If he died. Oh, real quick, real quick. What does congregation mean? Con means with, you know, Greg means uh, sheep. It means with the sheep, the sheepfold. Congregation means a flock of sheep. That's the lost sheep of Israel. Oh, go ahead. It says, shall declare his praise. If he died, he shall leave a greater name than a thousand. And if he, it's like, it's like, it's like uh, Matthew and the other, other uh, it's like in the other apostles in the Bible, 
Everybody knows about them, but nobody knows about no fucking Muhammad or or who's that Muhammad guy that drew what, what that stuff yeah. to walk by. Don't know that nobody know who he is. So everybody knows who Matthew is. You know what I mean? And nobody else looked at Matthew. They said if he lived, he shall increase. It. He shall increase it. And that's the thing. He's living again. In the reincarnation, and like the Lord said, I'm going to do greater works than I did because I did it to my father. So I'm going to do greater works than he did in the past life. That reminds me of uh, that Matthew 24 also. We said heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Ooh, yeah, that's right. So these words is eternal. These words are everlasting. No, they ain't got no time stamp. They're timeless. These are, this truth is timeless. Endless. Endless. Second Corinthians 13, I'm gonna start at one. This is the third time that I am coming to you. In the mouth of two, or three witnesses shall every word be established. I told you before and foretell you as if I were present the second time and being absent now and right then which heretofore have sinned and to all other that if I come again I would not I would not spare. Since ye seek a proof of God's God speaking in me, which is to you toward is not weak but is mighty in you. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God. We also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of the Most High toward you. Using the truth. Period. Yep. You know? Again, man, like, like when he brings up the word faith, these people, all they're doing is uh, 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 showing forth their faithless, man. Being faithless. Non believers. <laughs> Goddamn demons, man. Whoa, we supposed to get moved up when they come by and scoff with their dumb shit, you know? What is the point of that? They ain't gonna, uh, if somebody was out here selling some weed or some meth or something, something stupid. they ain't gonna scoff at the meth heads and the, scoff at the weed man. They ain't gonna scoff at the weed man. Right here. What's your point, dickhead? And I'm starting at one, it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. I in a book of Matthew is written on paper. <laughs> it says, Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithful. You know that come with the word prove. Like yeah, that's proof. That's some dirty nasty. You know what I'm saying? These words is faithful and true. Non believers. Non believers. Cause all these years, man, they've been programmed by this black bitch being loud and shit, so they think just being ignorant and being a piece of shit, that's gonna kill them. All that does is make us bring out more scriptures. <laughs> That'd be the best thing to ever happen to this place. Oh my goodness. We'd be drinking and laughing. <laughs> They gonna get swallowed up like core in there. This is the that the Bible and the Prophet the same thing. You know what I'm saying? The same thing. The the same thing. The one I just read, it says, All the faithfulness shall die, the faithfulness. The Lord quoted the same thing. It's John 8 and 21. This is what I'm trying to do. I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and ye shall die in your sins. Go, yeah, these fools that they not, these people they ain't repenting they gonna die in their sins and that death is gonna come well hopefully you know in the form of a uh, thermonuclear destruction unless they get destroyed before that you know what I'm saying a lot of them gonna get destroyed before 
Yeah, a lot of them gonna get destroyed before that. That's what we praying for. We praying for that day of fire, bro. So all these demons get burned up. That's gonna be beautiful, man. Seeing these people screaming, begging for mercy. This is one place I want to go. Oh, when the economic collapse happens, woo wee! The already animals. They are already killing each other out here. I just made a video about uh, what's it? Last night I was out here. I was riding my bike home from the bottom. <laughs> There was gunshot. Even in the video, the cop stopped me and was questioning me. He thought I had something to do with it. You know what I mean? But they're shooting people getting killed out here every day. Yeah, it was a murder. It's been two months, two months past two days. One up north and one up east, though. And there's been a lot of killing out east, eh? Yeah. Bunch of evil demons out here. Murderers. I could just, just kill people. Y'all see that rapper came up missing in Chicago, right? <laughs> what, EVE bands? You know who he is? He was like uh, the most gangster of the white rappers out there. He's an Israelite, obviously. Right. But he was with uh, one of them, what, I done forgot what it is. EVE bands is his name. He came up missing. But they think he's dead. They ain't seen him in weeks. But he'd be on there talking shit to people all the time, making that little rap, making that trap, what they call drill music. When that music is all about running up in someone's house and shooting them, killing them. That drill music, it came out of Chicago. They always rapping about shy rap. You know what I mean? Boy, can't believe that's what that's what's gonna happen to these people, man. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. That, that's a good thing, man. People think it's cool to be a little gangster. You think it's cool to be a, a rapper. Uh, rapping about all this evil shit. Rapping about shooting people. Rapping about fucking people's bitches. Rapping about, uh, you know, stealing money, robbing people. What do you think is gonna happen to you, man? You putting on them evil vibrations out there. You gonna get put to death. Man, right, here you go, huh? This is Ezekiel 33 and 45. What's that thing to them? Wherefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Ye eat with the blood, and lift up your eyes toward your idols, and shed blood, and shall ye possess the land? Ye stand upon your sword, ye work abominations, and ye defile every one his neighbor's wife, and shall ye possess the land? That just describes all these people out here. Right. That was a perfect description. Monsters, man. Monsters. Fucking monsters. <laughs> they look at all of us the same way, though. They do. Whether you're a piece of shit or not. You, you part of them anyway. Here's your wife. Yeah, they see us. Uh, a cop sees us, he ain't gonna be like, oh, these guys are different. <laughs> yeah, he gonna think that we have the same shit. Yeah. That's because we the same nation of people. Man. It's the comfy. He gonna think they think all of us is extortioners and, you know, robbers. Make some motherfuckers like that. There ain't, there ain't nobody ever came out here like we this. The Titans in the new Godzilla movie and shit. Y'all see that? <laughs> nah, not yet. I'm going to see that motherfucker. What up? King of the Monsters. Yeah. We just emerged and shit. <laughs> but look, I, I ain't trying to make that into this, but um, you know, during all the Godzilla movies. I can't see shit. All the Godzilla movies. You know what? I don't want, we gonna go back to now, that. Now go ahead, I wanna hear about Godzilla. But uh, you know it's all the Godzilla movies. There's right the, uh, he's always attacking the radiation facilities. Yeah. The nuclear facilities. But right now, uh, the, everybody they got their facilities, those uh, heavy water where they, Wherever they, wherever, wherever their nuclear facilities are, that what man, that pollution is, is starting to spread out. Man, that might be something that's going to wake up. Oh, uh, the fire thing, man. I'm just saying, I'm just thinking. But a nuclear I'm reactor. I'm just thinking for, you know what I mean? That nuclear reactor is like the dumbest thing you could <laughs> ever fucking build. Oh, 
They, they dumping all kind of nuclear waste down the desert. You can't dispose of the waste. You see that one in the Pacific with a uh, United States store of theirs is uh, decaying. Yeah. They say it's leaking. They say it's leaking plasma, radiated plasma. This fucking radiated. What is that? Radiated plasma? What That's the a, fuck is that? Some shit that made the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> right, but they say it's leaking. You know, they gonna, of course, it's a media blackout on it. But they've already showed it, make jokes, you know, that radiation does cause mutations. Oh, hell yeah. After that, uh, even after the little bombs in World War II, uh, Fat Man, uh, Little Man in Nagasaki, Hiroshima, all kind of people were born with genetic deformities after that. Still to this day. Same thing with Chernobyl. You see what happened to Chernobyl? Creatures so, how you doing? Everything's been born with infection all that time. Oh shit. Y'all see the one where they let the nuke off and after the, the you know the blast went by, everybody turned around and they told them to run toward it. Hey. Like wow. Like wow. Yeah, we fucked up. All they were doing was studying the use of the offensive radiation so without telling them that. Oh yeah. That's all they were doing. This devil's no one could man. What does the devil do? Bad shit. Never gonna do some good shit all of a sudden? That just goes to uh strategic experience. That just goes to show you what terms we in. We in the, the nuclear age. Yeah, but everybody, the whole the whole planet is in that Cold War mentality now. So that's why we're all these weather things, man. No motherfucking reactors throw up so much water. And I, I, I thought I told y'all before to do this channel is MB, MMBB something. He studies the shit. He's, a, he's an old form of meteorologist. Oh, yeah? And he studies the patterns of, you know, when yeah. all that shit, when all that water is going up, it creates new weather. It does. It, it has to. different weather. Right, right. So it's been, uh, Ohio got hit with nothing but massive tornadoes in the last couple of weeks, man. Yeah, we had a tornado warning every night. <laughs> An unusual amount of a tornado attack. It's just a time for Plus, they already openly admit they have manipulated the weather on top of that. Yeah. With the chemtrails? Yeah. They say the chemtrails are the battle global warming. That's the official... But here, you got retards out here to say chemtrails don't exist or not real, but the government admits it's the battle com uh, uh, global warming. Wow, like, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> People, man, they don't know nothing out here. Oh, they're working overtime now with Trump up in there. Oh, yeah. Russia. Russia too. Well, that's exactly what I'm saying, because Russia's like, oh, this Trump guy, oh, shit. Because look, at one time, didn't they both have like 60-something thousand nukes at one time? I think like 60-something thousand. I, don't I forget Russia the had, like, number. like 60-something thousand. I know Russia had. I know Russia are, are have more, but right. Obama came in with that denuclearization <laughs> shit. And he was destroying nukes while Russia was building more. All the missiles gonna get shot on America. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. That's what we wait for, it, man. For real. Fucking it missiles. Say thou thus unto them. Thus saith the Lord Power, as I live. Surely they that are in the waste shall fall by the sword. Don't read that right. As I live, surely they that are in the waste shall fall by the sword. And him that is in the open field will I give to the beast. To be devoured, but let me start back up. Now. This is giving, he's talking to these motherfuckers that strapped that love their sword. Ye stand upon your sword, ye work abominations. Yeah, everybody's strapped out here. Every man, these bitches are strapped too. Yeah, they is for real. They gotta be because everybody else is strapped. We are bitch like I know a bunch of old ladies who pack pistols. Oh, yeah. My sister was the very first bitch I ever actually seen carry a gun, man. Huh. And she actually called me last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. While she ran to this uh, uh, Israelite nigga in, in, um, in Atlanta. What's up? She's 
married and shit, but they exchanging numbers like this. Vultures, bitch. What says he wants a bomb nation and he found everyone who's dead to fight himself because that's the land. Say thou thus unto them. Thus said the Lord God, as I live. Surely they thou in the waste shall fall by the sword, and him that is in the open field will I give to the beast to be devoured. They will be in the forts and in the caves to die in the pestilence. I tell you, out here on the bottom, there was a, I've heard a lot of people that there was like wolves running around around here. Oh, sh but down here? That's what they said. Woo! They said wolves. I think it's out of back because Gold City ain't far from here. Yeah. And before you get to Gold City, there's a lot of open shit. Yeah. A lot of deers and all that shit can live. Wild animals and all that. I've seen that. deer on the bottoms out here. Right, really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. They be out here. They are way all over the White House. They just going through these yards. Look. Look. Yeah, they want these wicked demons could be out here having a good time. You know how to be all up on the porch. Got all the boys on the porch smoking, drinking, laughing. Oh, yeah. The day a wolf could just, or even a dog or something, jump out and just start chewing your little baby to pieces. That one of these days. I ain't been around two thirds in a minute, man. I'm about to go hang out with some two thirds I know just to oh, record no. the conversation. This is the mind of the two thirds. Shit. I'm gonna record the conversation. That ain't got a hood on that car. And I do. I'm gonna press up here around it, but I'm gonna They had to call the crazy house in his ass. He was out for two days before that. And the, what you call the, the, the strap thing? The, uh, yeah, the, the straight jacket? Oh shit, they gave him some meds. For two days. Two days. Now here, once you, if you get up in that crazy house, they give you some certain meds that you ain't never going to be right. Yeah. He looked crazy too, man. Like, wow. That's what happens to the people of the world, though. They can go crazy, bro. That shit ain't going to happen to us. For lo, I will lay the land most desolate, and the pomp of her strength shall cease, and the mountains of Israel shall be desolate, that none shall pass through. Then shall they know that I am the Lord, when I have laid the land most desolate, because all their abominations which they have committed. Right, so this is a whole place. America going to get laid desolate. We ain't mentioned Israel, because you know Israel's a people before it's a place. And the main population of the United States is mostly Israelites. It's the Edomites that rule over us. The white people that rule over us. Those are Edomites. But all these people up in these ghettos, up in the hood, it's all Israelites. And they're a bunch of evil demons. Why do you, you know what I'm saying? Why do you think you got so many laws and shit? Because you people don't know how to fucking act right. They can't. So they govern there, they're always sending the cops to fucking to put your ass in check. Bro. What's the movie? Oh yeah, uh, they uh don't forget they in that Gene Hackman spirit. Oh shit. You know? Yeah. He's ruling with his arm, you know? We ruling uh, you know, he's a wicked ruler. Yep. Gene Hackman was a wicked ruler, a wicked ruler. Yeah, he was. Oh, he played that part too, too. I like the end of that movie though when uh because he was here he he's an evil demon but he's all sad he couldn't finish building his house and all that he got his ass put to death That's what happened. he thought he's gonna be an evil demon and get to live the good life just imagine that though man if the police force was just killing just the movie oh it'd be, it'd be a population reduction overnight they would kill each other That'd be a purge. That'd be a purge. But you would have these, uh, they'd be going door to door robbing people if there was no cops. They sure would. Mad as hell to get stationed over here. <laughs> These are training units. Yeah, train. that's where they sit on the new guy. That side bottom. I'm falling like down with the floor to the job. Fuck this. I still have fun. Man. Fucking perverts. They get busted for buying prostitutes any fucking way. Fuck yep. 
Let me buy a hose. Let me have the strip parties up in the fire department. All that shit. Okay. Order and speckle faggots to strip them and all that. Sliding down the pole. That's some faggot shit. What's up? What's up, man? Sort of, sort of, man? The children of black people. And what's up? No, children of Israel. The children of black people still are talking to this people. By the walls and in the doors of the house. They talk what do you do walk by the first guy that even came by and said, Oh, Matthew ain't around no more. You know, he just hate got, got a hatred in his heart for the scripture. For the word fucking over. Lord was on green shit. And when the Lord gives us that power, we'll be knocking their fucking heads off. You just take a shot, just knock the head off with one punch. We gonna be the real life one punch man. You when see it, why the Lord had to escape by himself to the Lord? Yeah. You know? Yeah. You do get peace when you go through the trees. Yeah. You know? Where's quiet? Fucking, fucking, uh, centipedes crawling through the fucking forest is better company than Israel, right? Yeah. The centipedes scary, too. Yeah. I'd rather... Like a tadpole swimming through the blue pond. It's better company than these people. <laughs> you ain't lying. You gotta be drunk, man. Just like you get drunk with a fucking fat bitch, she's beautiful, man. Yeah. You gotta get drunk to be around these people. Oh, shit. You do. I mean, like, damn, you get smoked all I would think about your house shot, he stayed lit. Oh, he right. stayed drunk. Right, right. He had to. You understand that now, right? Yeah. You understand why? The scriptures give you understanding. Why? What's going on? How to deal with this shit? We're commanded. Let me get that. I had no wine in a minute. I think the last wine I had was in the Passover. You do? I can't drink, bro. It makes me tired. It sucked all the energy out of me. Especially when I'm riding that bike. Woo. Yeah, you ever try to ride a bike long distance after you have some alcohol in you? You gotta take your time. You all sweating, get a headache. <laughs> hey, sometimes I do that. I take my time getting home. Take my like two hours. Get something to drink, you know what I mean? Here you go. This is first Timothy Fog. Get more, the signs are fun, man. Um, them that's took us in the fucking Them that sin rebuke before all. Oh, them, <laughs> them that sin rebuke before all. People get mad because we get on guys making videos. You know what I mean? But if people out here sinning, you're supposed to rebuke them before everybody. Make an example out of them. How can they do that in the church though? Nobody get rebuked up in no church. Nah, you saw Hell it in no. movies. You know what I'm I saw it in a comedy. Oh yeah. But that shit ain't got game really. The comedy for Richard Pryor was the culture. The churches don't rebuke nobody. They say that's that's not love. Right. God, God's all love. He doesn't rebuke. He loves. Rebuke before all that others also may fear. I charge thee before the Most High and the Lord Yahalashai Mashiach. Hey, I'm gonna say this real quick. That's a good point because I know when the elders, ever since I first started watching the elders of Great Millstone, they make a video on somebody that was going off teaching uh, a false doctrine, and I would get scared that I'd be the next guy in the next video. <laughs> You should have that fear in you, but I don't want it. They ain't make no video about me. And make you walk that straight, that straight, that tightrope. You gotta walk that straight line, that straight gate. Because you don't want to be the next guy to get made an example out of. Either you're gonna take it like a, a soldier or you're gonna turn it into a demon. It's funny, You're supposed to have that conscience about you. And to this day, motherfuckers get ego. 
Bible says, I charge thee before the Most High and the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mahashiach, and the elect angel, that thou observe these things without preferring one before another, doing nothing by partiality. Lay hands suddenly on no man, neither be partakers of other men's sins. Keep thyself pure. Drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake and thy often affirmities, mentally and physically. That's how wine benefits you, mentally and physically. You know? Yeah. It's supposed to be real good for your heart. The wine, man, you just dump it. You just your ass out. I know you do get some good shits after a long night of drinking. Yeah, you get all that deep, dark, nasty stuff about it. It's a cleansing. The infirmities, man, the world's coming down to us. We just have to deal with it, though. That's part of this, that's part of this, that's part of this business we need. Dealing with these demons. We're not looking for the world to come to us. There's some thick mamas around the world. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. It says, some men's sins are open beforehand, going before to judgment, and some men they follow after. Follow the multitude, you know? There's a scripture on that. Uh, Exodus? There's a new stuff before they have a pocket for I'm thinking of, bro. Now they just quit the following men to the world. Yeah. Some men's sins are open. Likewise, also the good works of some are manifest beforehand. And they that are otherwise cannot be given. Well, like a lot of these young kids that they brainwashed by that fucking rap music and shit. They see them rappers. Dude, that's all. It's all the rap hip hop culture nowadays. All you, all they see their favorite rapper sipping lean. What you think they gonna do? They gonna go get some lean. They hear that rapper talk about fucking someone's bitch. They gonna go fuck someone's bitch so they can brag about how I fucked his bitch. Fuck your bitch. Then they get killed over that. Oh shit. And they say that's one of the best diss tracks ever. We <laughs> see what happened to Tupac. He got put to death. The seven day theory came out to be not true. He never came back. What they say? What they say? Machiavelli was coming back after seven years, right? Hey, he never came back. Where are you coming back, bro? Pac probably already back in reincarnation. That's that shit sounded good though. Oh, Pac! Oh, he coming back. Pac ain't dead. Whatever priest was was counseling him. Yeah. They set his ass up. So he read the prince and shit. That's where he got it. The, uh, by Machiavelli. You know where he got that book? Nah, you can read it online, but I don't have it. He actually spoke. Oh, yeah? Wow. True. Sure. I mean, I guess I don't know. Well, I got a couple of fist pumps from some old fat ladies. They just seen Matthew. If they read that sign, they're really not going to like this sign. That's pretty readable, though, from a distance. If they get hit with the truth, the mailman can get it every day. That's actually in the law. The law says you're supposed to put the law on your uh, on your doorpost. Well, he said, I did that in one of uh, the apartments. Had the Ten Commandments on my front door. Yeah. I'm gonna get the sign up for you. Feel like I got this. Proverbs 1 and uh, uh, 10 it says, if, I'm just like, yeah, my son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they come, it's like, if they say, come with us, lie, let us lie and wait for blood, but it's not permanent for the innocent. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 
Oh shit. What I'm saying is, is um, there's pure pressure. You gotta have to be a fucking man to be a whole man. Don't let nobody guide you to do some wicked shit, man. Learn to think on your own fucking think, learn to think on your own, man. And that's pretty much what that's what you're saying. It's like, it's Pure pressure is a motherfucker, ain't it? Right, because there's a lot of no good motherfuckers that will want you to do some evil shit just to see some what, what happens to you, you know? Just to see what'll happen. Or something bad to happen. They want something bad to happen to you. Just some evil piece of shit. Big thing is getting people to go, I need help going and hit this liquor real quick. Oh, man. That's how a lot of these kids get locked up. They're going robbing people and shit. You got to pray to the Lord to do what you think of. Who is teenagers? 19, 20. Somewhere around that age. And these motherfuckers can't pick up. I think we're going to get drunk, having a good time, you know, just searching for bitches and shit. These motherfuckers went to a UDF to rob. Oh, shit. In Bexley, man. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. A UDF? Hell yeah. You can't find a better place to rob? A UDF? Like, what the fuck? But too many cars, as soon as we was walking up, that's when I found out they was actually going to rob them motherfuckers. They got a whole bunch of cars pulled in, man. man. Woo! My son, says, let us let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole, as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all praise and suffering. We shall fill our house with spoil. Passing that lot of wonders, let us have one first. My son, walk not thou in the way. We will refrain that foot from their path. Oh, you know, the scene of Billy. There's a scene in the movie Belly with uh, what's his name for Lauren Hill yeah. Well that scene was perfect. That's what you call perfect scene in Belly. After they did the robbery and the murders at the club, they go throw all the money at Deal Max's table. And they's like, oh well, we're gonna separate it later. You know? <laughs> Shit. These motherfuckers crazy, man. So what they did, they separated each motherfucker their cut. But they gave the nigga who they stripped naked, remember? They gave him a small cut, he was mad as fuck. <laughs> Let's bring up what that's saying, man. Wicked man. Hey, and the same people, too, that you're going to go try to hit a lick with or something, they going to snitch on you. You know, everybody snitches nowadays, too. He says, for the, uh, Where their feet run to people and make haste to shed blood. Second video. What <laughs> the fuck you gonna do with that? That's some funny shit. It's like you can come up here get a, you know, get a whole video. He even said something he was like, no, too. It's like, but it, people always feel like they're scared to talk to him, you know? <laughs> this is some funny shit. Damn, that, oh. look at that belly, bro. Now, he just mentioned that movie Belly. Look at that belly. <laughs> Got a, her belly go down to she her knees. She got a big booty belly. Big booty belly. The belly, yeah, belly bigger than the booty. She gotta carry that bitch in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> or get a, like a little wheel attached to it. Oh, be oh. <laughs> 
It's just crazy how poor people can get so fat. Yeah. Amazing, man. Poor people eat the worst. They got the worst yeah. They do. Shit, when you're poor, you don't really, that's just used to eat the Shit. Food and vegetables ain't expensive. Not, Maybe. Like, not like the, the center aisles. These fools, they eat fast food every day. Every day. That's the main thing they eat, fast food. Every day. Ugh. Dead, dead. I ain't ate that shit in years, man. Like the last thing I ate, I think, was Taco Bell. That ain't bad. Yeah. Got a lot of vegetables. With some fake ass beef. Yeah. yeah make I, beef. I don't think that's just even meat. Make beef leaf. Make beef. Make 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 beef leaf. Hell no. That's all you hear. You say George Lucas? Yeah. Might have been. He probably out here molesting children. George Lucas is a goddamn warlock. He's a black. That is Star Wars shit. Blasphemy. You ever hear? Uh, what are you doing? That'd be like a whole. You could do a whole video on it. Oh, the word Jedi. You know the word Jedi comes from the ancient Egypt. It's like a certain type of, like an evil spirit type of thing. Okay, I got a book on it, but he got the word Jedi, it goes back to ancient Egypt. The worst man is this guy. I'm trying to tell you something. Are you good? It's real quick, because you remember, you know this bitch had that fact that you remember his quote, he said, uh, fear leads to hate, hate leads to anger, hate uh, anger leads to suffering. Yeah. I just not know this, like, that's the doctrine of Christians. Christians teach you, you're not supposed to hate, you're not supposed to be angry, you're not supposed to suffer, you're not supposed to, uh, all that shit wrong. Because the most side, you put hate you. Hate you after you. Hate you just suck in the truth. That's the good side. The original like, Anakin was a good guy. Yeah. He wanted to save his family. Because we're also, too, they had his a part in uh, Star Wars, uh, what was it, Revenge of the Sith, the last one? When Obi Wan was battling with Anakin. And uh, Anakin said, You're either with me or against me. And Obi Wan replied and he said, that's that's dumb. that's the talk of a no. He said that only a Sith speaks in such absolutes and stuff like that. And that's the scripture in the Bible. The Lord said, "You're either with me or you're against me." But that Star Wars movie said that that's evil. But they knew what they was doing when they did that. Cause you know a lot of young children watch Star Wars. They influenced by that shit. And now they're gonna get that line caught in their head. Oh, Obi Wan Kenobi said it. Uh, Either you're with me or against me, that's evil. Yeah, it's a fundamental message. Yeah. It's a fundamental message that you're suffering, that you're still suffering. That your conscience is paying attention to the you know, moment. You can face the sin, you know, but your subconscious is picking up everything. And they go act on it. They, 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 they program it. That's all that shit is. That's programming. That's all it is, man. That's all the fuck it is. That's uh, black magic, is what that's sorcery. That's a weak spiritual person. But then the movies can do that. You be watching a movie, they start playing some sad music or something sad, they'll make you cry. Hey, 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 it was crazy. Cause I, Star Wars, shit, I used to treat that shit like a trip. Like, 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 like the, third, the third movie came out, I remember my sister, my oldest sister, she's a big, 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 big. I remember she told me, there's a part where Anakin, he, he bowed down to the, uh, to, 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 uh, to the wicked nigga. Yeah. She told me, she was like, you shouldn't you should bow to any man, you should bow to God. And I was like, it's just a movie. You know what I'm saying? I told her that shit. But it, now I'm thinking like, that's crazy. Like, that shit really actually happened in the gym. He's like, he said, I got it. He said, I got it. He's like, 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 I seen that one coming. Damn, this wave is going crazy. Keeping peaceful and everything. They can fight. Women gotta find something to complain about. That's just the spirit how the, the children come from us. The dead, man. You know? 
Good things come in threes. Right. Despise not the discourse of the wise. Despise not the discourse of the wise. But acquaint thyself with thy proverbs, for of them thou shalt learn instruction. And hey, how a, to serve great men with ease. It's instruction we're giving y'all. You supposed to this is how you're supposed to live your life according to this word right here. That's right. Not according to what like Jeezy said or Wheezy or Jeezy or Oh, goddamn. Oprah's still around? Well, yeah. That bitch ain't dropped dead yet. The oh, old ass Oprah. Oprah. Well, I just want to do her. Get her the Oprah, the new Oprah's goddamn Ellen. Oh. They love that bitch, that lesbian oh. bitch. Oh, uh, we ain't going on the Sullivan team. That's just right down there. Well, the further end, it's a good spot to wait. The yeah, end down there, yeah. yeah there's, a, there's an actual nice spot down there. We don't want to go right there. Yeah. That's just a fancy Oh, I know what it is. That shit is off the chain, man. Yeah. Shit is off the chain. But that further down, though, where yeah. Wilson is. The hilltops and shit. Yeah, where Wilson is. Yeah. What is that? I get a Wilson? little, yeah, Wilson Road, that's way out there. Trudeau. Yeah, Trudeau. That Wilson's past Trudeau, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I think it's right there. The only thing about it, way out there is like nowhere out. It's not a, it's, I don't know any spots where a lot of people are walking. Oh, I know one. Dude. That's right where I'm talking about. It's a center down there. Oh, yeah. There's we, a bunch of apartments and shit. Somebody was just murdered there. That's right. Someone just murdered there. Today or yesterday. Damn. <laughs> Up the west side, Matthew, is this thing still going? I can't see nothing. Matthew uh, 7 and 13. Enter ye in the straight gate. Because we've been going to all these scriptures talking about how these people are a bunch of evil demons, they murderers, adulterers, liars. Our fucking women are goddamn whores, a bunch of faggots. I mean, these people are just totally out of order. I mean, you can never imagine that this shit would get this bad out here. And that people would be this worthless and this evil, you know what I mean? But this is how you're supposed to live. It says, enter ye, ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Many there be which go in there at. Right. When you walk in that, 
Broad, broad. That's the uh, that Broadway. That's the uh, uh, on Broadway. I didn't thought about that. Broadway. Let me do whatever you want. But that's the Aleister Crowley spirit. That's that do as thou wilt spirit. That's that's the philosophy. You know, most Americans live by is do as thou wilt. Do whatever you want. You only live once. You gotta have fun. And they don't give a fuck about the laws of the Bible. Okay, they're gonna commit adultery. They're gonna rob people. I mean, they rob their best friend. They go to your house, you go to the bathroom, and they open your drawers and shit, you know what I mean? Enter ye into the straight gate, for wide is the gate, broad is the way that leadeth to the structure, and many there be which go in their wreck. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be to find it. There it is. A uh, few. That's what's up. We don't call me, sir. That's what I'm talking about. I'll bring that out a little bit, yeah? Get out that way. Well, he got an article about the man some... dies after being shot in West Columbus. He's looking for a suspect. He should always get away. <laughs> Shit. It's like Grand Theft Auto out here. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I think every time I come out west, like this goddamn Grand Theft Auto. Like real life. His name was Sebastian Walsh Walkins, 34. Sebastian? Yeah. They got some uh, Sebastian out of the game. That's what's supposed to happen anyway. Oh, that's the one who got killed. Yeah. Oh. The man, you know, was a black male in his 20s, a nigga in his 20s. 